It's intimidating, to be honest. I was really nervous because they're incredible. They're some of the greats. So like me coming in and doing my little lines, I definitely felt intimidating. That's why I love it, though. Honestly, it is one of those scripts. It's one of those movies It's that kind of draws in everybody. You know, it's, it's it does, like I said before, have some of the greats. So it just brings that element of really amazing timing of, of some of the best comedic, so it's good. She was a teenager, you know, a typical teenager go, growing up, trying to experience independence and freedom, and being a girl, also being like, daddy's girl it's like hard to kind of let their little girl go so I think that's the center of her character is really just the average teenager everybody experiences it they're just vampires <laughs> it's funny you know it's funny people can enjoy it, it it's a feel-good movie especially for father and daughters I, I think it's a great film so hopefully they'll enjoy it <laughs> He brings the comedy, you know, but also with the comedy, he has this like sincere heart because he's a dad himself. So I think he kind of channels that, and now he can kind of deliver like the dual performance of a you know crazy, over obsessive hotel manager as well as a loving and over obsessive crazy father. We got Selena Gomez number one as his daughter, which is amazing. She's this great sincerity and heart. We have um, Kevin James, his uncle Frank. And Kevin's, you know, amazing. He's this blue-collar guy, and we played him a very conversational and really funny. Um, we've got uh, Steve Buscemi as Wayne the Werewolf, and uh, our character is super bummed out because he's got so many kids. He's constantly exhausted, and Steve does that <laughs> perfectly. We have uh, Molly Shannon as his wife, and she's kind of oblivious to the world. She loves all her kids, and so everything's always perfect for her. Uh, we've got Fran Drescher as uh, Eunice, and she always speaks her mind. She always gives Dracula what he needs to hear, and she's fantastic. David Spade is a visible man. Can't forget about him. Very, uh, very, very funny and uh, right on the money for David. It's a story that's accessible to anybody who's been a kid or who's been a parent, you know, and so I think it's kind of for all generations, and it's funny, you know, we weren't trying to be scary. There's a couple of little tiny scary parts, but really it's funny, and we're really trying to be a very silly, funny movie with some charm. Me and my buddies, we wrote the movie together, and uh, we had a great time, and uh, Gandhi uh, and, and a bunch of guys over at Sony had this great vision for the movie, and we all did it together, and we had a, we had a great time. We did it, did it, mostly I did it to make sure my kids like me, That's, and, and uh, mission is semi-accomplished. It's a movie about love, uh, you're a dad and a daughter loving each other, and him afraid to let go and, and just it's a sweet story it's a sweet story but it, there is a lot of jokes in there and the kids have a good time